Metrum's Radio. Baby, let's go. All that you want. All that you can have, boy. Got me spread like a buffet. Metrum's Radio, media terintegrasi kaum muda. Metrum's Radio Media terintegrasi kaum muda Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alright Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim Wabihi nasta'in wa ala umur dunia wadin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Amma ba'du Ya ayuh muslimun Tetapkum bahwa hakuatukuatuhi Wala tamutuna illa wa'amutu muslimun Hello friends Come back with me Muhammad Rifaldo Or you can say to me Aldo How do you do? I hope all of you can help And this pandemic And more attention with your cleanliness I returned with uh, the same video Which is with the previous video I talked with Arabic But this time, I, uh, I'm of course, I will try to talk with English. I was assignment from campus to make an introduction video about tourist attraction. And I will try, or I will combine with traditional cuisine in my hometown. Okay, first of all. I'm the one of the student uh, in Islamic State University, Sunan Gunung Jati, Bandung. I'm, I am from Sulawudin Faculty, and I am be a part of the Department of Religion Studies. Firstly, I will start with introducing where I came from, uh, and what I will show some tourist attraction and traditional cuisine. To all of you guys in this video, let's get started. Okay, Pangalengan is located 40 kilometers south of the city Bandung, or about 29 kilometers from the capital city of Bandung Regency. Pangalengan have several famous stories. Uh, famous stories, of course. Uh, Tourist objects such as Situ Cilincha and then tea plantation and then point rice chuko and then Chibulang hot spring bathing pool and Isab truck. Pangalingan is also known as a producer of agriculture, uh, animal husbandry, and then uh, plantation tea of the area. There are several tea and kina plantation managed by PTPN and Pangalina is also an area of producer called milk, uh, livestock and milk managers in Pangalina and other South Bandung areas are managed by Koperasi Peternakan Bandung Selatan or KPBS Pangalengan. Pangalengan tourism lately 
is the favor of people starting local and interlocal become to Paralinga. Of the one supporting factor is maybe because of this pandemic. Uh, many people felt bored in the house with this uh, old quarantine, long quarantine, and they choose to go to Pangalengan and maybe also Pangalengan still in the green zone. Maybe for some people this pandemic is detrimental, but for Pangalengan citizen, is it is actually a source of substances. Many traders who pack each of these attractions. But with the large number of travelers arriving from out of town, this also adds to Pangalingan citizen concerned because we don't know whether the tourists are safe from COVID-19 or not. Fortunately, in every tourist attraction implementing health protocols recommended of course by government back to the previous topic I will explain some attraction in Pangalingan and special food traditional cuisine that are here as well so the first one is Situ Chuluncha. Situ Chuluncha. Situ Chuluncha itself is an artificial lake created by a Dutch national in the past, located at altitude of 1550 meters above sea level, and has an area of 1,400 hectares with a depth of up to 17 meters on the surface of the water. Formerly, Chil was once of wildness area. However, after the area of Pangalengan controlled by a Dutch colonials, the citizens in Pangalengan could harvesting coffee and tea. The development process also took seven years until finally the artificial lake was completed in 1926. Along with the development of the time, Chilincha has other functions, including clean water, reservoirs in Bandung, and tourism. As a tourism destination, Chilincha offers beautiful and exotic scenery, and many tours over it include boating around Situ, rafting, outbound, flying fox, paintball, archery, pangalengan to, and my favorite destination that I have felt is camping around the lake. Okay, perhaps that's a little information about Situ Chilincha, and we will move to another things. What the things is traditional cuisine, of course. Permen Susu Permen susu or milk candy, the citizen in Pangalingan called that way, is the one of the typical snacks from Pangalingan, with a mold of milk that in here, and is used by surrounding community to become a special meal or traditional cuisine in Pangalingan. This milk candy was fermented from whole milk and made like making cheese, but the difference is processing method. Milk candy or permen susu are mixed with flour and crust on coals with a large size frozen stones. And until now, the manufacture of milk candy is still traditional to hold the original taste, and most of them made it with home industry. Basically, for making milk candy, it is more delicious. To use coals from a furnace uses from traditional stove. Traditional stoves are believed to produce milk candy that's more delicious and tender because the cooking system is done in the aisles or small fire 
but a long period of time. The citizen in Pangalingan say that cooked in small embers, the candy will be more delicious and chewy. And trust me guys, you will have to try it. Guys, there are still many good tours in Pangalingan and the food is no less delicious in other places. The government of Bandung Regency Tourism continues to boost tourist Pangalingan and to continue to improve and to try become a major tourist attraction at least in south of Bandung Regency and insyaallah can become a national tourist attraction in Indonesia in the order that the Pangalingan tourist sector is more advanced and the Pangalingan economic situation will be more much better okay commanders maybe that's all I can describe in this video I hope all of you are satisfied and can add your insight to Pangalingan and maybe one day you can also visit Pangalingan and don't forget to visit Pangalingan uh, I can mention to you all and if you do if you visit Pangalingan don't forget to contact me okay I am Aldo I'm out Wallahu mafik ila komentari Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Metrum's Radio. Hey, what's up? Baby, let's go. Oh, All that you can have, boy. Hey. Got me spread like a buffet. Boom, now. Nah. Now they like always people. say congratulations. I'm gonna strip that down for me. I'm on my way. Girl, come and strip that down for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Metrum's Radio. Media terintegrasi kaum muda. Metrum's Radio Media terintegrasi kaum muda